Hello viewers, welcome back to the Homeworld Desert to Car Wreck speedrunning tutorial. This video is all about Cape Wrath, so let's get started. Alright, first thing we need to do, um, make sure you have all your LAVs grouped into one giant group, and then we need to get them to travel towards this dune, so you can use your boost ability twice on your way there. Once you get up to that dune, um, that's right over here behind the game menu. Rachel or a cutscene will start and Rachel will teleport to that position so there's no reason to move Rachel and we want to get to that cutscene as soon as possible so just having your LAVs boost up there um, that's the quickest way to do that. Next move your AAVs down here along with the Capizzi. Shunt your power, put one power into these three systems. Move your salvages to about here along with your support cruiser. Then also build two more salvages. Now these guys should be getting pretty close to use their boost ability again, so we'll be prepared for that. There we go. And now we just kind of wait. Your AAVs will encounter a railgun and some sand skippers here, so they're going to shoot and destroy those guys. But they should be fine on their own. Here's that cutscene I was talking about. So you can issue commands during this, so I'd grab group 3 and move them up here. They've probably destroyed um, the attack group. Now you also have on your map these two uh, resource points, so make sure you grab two of your salvagers to come here. Long, put your support cruiser in the middle, and then grab the two salvagers that you built. And get them on the other resource point, and then make sure you add these guys to your group. So we'll add those to group now. Now we need to defend Rachel while she explores this uh, abandoned carrier. There's this really nice dune right here that we're going to plant our units on. You can give them a hold command and they will get height advantage and just focus on all enemies as they travel around here and then they come up from here. Once these guys get there too, um, you'll have a pretty good phalanx there that'll just destroy anything. You can kind of you can see all these guys getting height advantage against this guy and they just mow it down really, really quickly. You will have to pull them off to attack these railguns though. And then just have them come right back up here. It's a good idea to give them a hold command because otherwise they'll just drive around in little circles and it's very annoying. Also all these resources are now harvest, or harvested so we can send all of our guys up here. And then for the Capizzi, we need to build about five or six more um, LAVs. You're going to give them a waypoint of about right here. Should be good enough. So there will be some sand skimmers that come down, and then later some railguns will come down here and attack the Capizzi. The Capizzi will be able to handle itself just fine against the sand skimmers. 
it could defend itself against the railguns, but it's just not fast. So it's better to have a couple of uh, uh, a couple of LAVs there. Now with these guys, I kind of try and get them in a little box formation. Um, this looks pretty good. I'm going to move this guy a little bit and this guy a little bit. And then that should be good. They can just hold here. And then you'll have your LAVs um, travel down to shoot the railguns as they come through. So the railguns normally come after um, a wave of like assault ships, so there should be some railguns here. Which there are. More Galvian reinforcements are inbound. Return to the PC immediately. Effective fire. Negative intel. Let's mow these guys down very quickly. And head back up here. So I give these guys group eight and there should be like a group of two railguns that'll come down here very shortly. Um, it's hard to see because you have storm interference, but I think these guys are them. Find out. Strike responding. Prep for displacement. Well, it looks like I was a little premature. There they are. They're up there. Ready. CU field expanded. Other than that, you don't really need to build any more units. You can build, um, like I said, you can have six of these if you want. It doesn't really, uh, it doesn't make a huge difference. Point, just have them defend the Capizzi and get healed up by the repair beams. So now we need to take a look at this progress bar. Um, after a certain point, it's going to jump right up to about 87%, I think is what it is. When that happens, we're going to move these guys. Once we finish clearing out any waves that might be attacking her at, the, at that point, but... It'll jump, and she'll normally say something like, I figured out the wiring, and then... Now, a group of units is going to attack the Capizzi here. Just use your LAVs to destroy them, along with the Capizzi. The Capizzi is going to be the most powerful ship in your fleet, so... Yeah, they are. So have, um, we need to finish off these guys. I'm going to get my AAVs to start going. The next place we're going to do, we're going to use a shift to move them in a specific path. And we're going to move them to this little circle right here. She needs to go ahead and get rid of these sand skimmers first. And these guys can do the same thing. So we want them to go around the left side of this, um, this dude. Now these guys, we can go ahead and use our smoke screen ability. Uh, looks like we're about to lose one. Which is fine, you can lose one. That's, it's not a big deal. If he's taking too much damage for your liking, go ahead and smoke screen, but otherwise your AAV should be able to tank. Um, the assault vehicles. You could do it to kind of help out your LAVs. Um, they will focus on your LAVs a little bit. Alert. LAV down. Armor, go ahead. But once that's done, you're going to want to get to this dune right here and just camp there and then they should be able to focus down any of these assault ships that are still alive at that point. Um, and the next thing to do is just make sure you have that assault group destroyed before this reaches um, 100%. And that's it for that mission. That's all you have to do.
efficiency has been greatly increased. And Here's a production cruiser that spawns. And you guys are waiting there to destroy it. They should destroy it during this cutscene. Yep, there it is. So that's it for that mission. It's a fairly straightforward mission. Just make sure you harvest all resources, um, destroy the attack group by the Capizzi, and then get your units in position to destroy that production cruiser as soon as it spawns. Um, your time should be pretty consistent. There is something that will cause you to lose maybe 20 seconds or so. And I haven't figured out what it is, admittedly. There are, there's just something with the triggers in that map that can cause you to lose a lot of time, and I haven't quite figured it out, because I do the same thing every time, but sometimes I'm like 30 seconds um, behind instead of like the consistent time across to all runs. Um, that time it looked like it was a little bit slow. I think we finished that mission after like 10 minutes, but a little bit due to me explaining things. So let's go ahead and I'll play through that mission again, and this time with a little bit less commentary and just kind of go everything pretty smoothly even though it should be um, very similar to what I just showed you I didn't mention this the last time. <clears throat> you shouldn't have to build AAV um, fabrication until maybe uh, the end of Kalash Wreck or Belladid Dude, see if everything goes well. Um, in a very extremely perfect run, you would never research AAV fabrication at all because you would just hang on to these nine AAVs throughout the entire run. But usually one or two of them gets destroyed, maybe more, and you'll have.
have to build a couple more. But don't worry about AAV fabrication until much later into the campaign. This is my brother's ship. Hold position. Thank God. Attack vehicle is under fire. Continuing search until we'll keep you advised. The Galcian are using hit and run tactics. Cruiser ready. Focusing on their lighter units should cause their slower, heavier units to retreat. Armor vehicle taking effective fire. Off ready. Railgun sight. Alert. Friendly taking hostile fire. It's a straight shot. Go! Hostile range craft. Light destroyed. attack vehicle online. Off ready. Armor is on. Order! Clear out! Hit it! Light attack vehicle in service. Depleted. Support crews are under attack. Immediate fire support on that position. Hostile railguns have opened up. Move to intercept. Fast attack pattern. Full speed. Hold! On our way. Reposition! Intel, science update. This artifact is composed of same materials as the orbital fragments recovered 45 years ago, but this, this is no fragment. Until this moment, we have never seen this technology fully intact and functional. We need to secure it immediately. We copy that, Rachel. Strike responding. Enemy light attack vehicle marked on approach. Contact. Enemy armor. Bearing designated. The Ifrit and the Bal's crew had it jury rigged into their sensor array. Light attack vehicle. Okay. I know what they were doing. I think I can merge it with our systems and greatly enhance our sensor capabilities. Move order confirmed. Alert. Light attack vehicle destroyed. Clear out. Hit it. Engage. Enemy real gun eliminated. We're ready. Reading. It's a strike. We've shot. detected Go. something. Can you confirm? Rachel, what's your status? Intel, I figured out the wiring. Should speed us up considerably. Alert. Roger that. Taking fire. Coordinates confirmed. Galcian range units engaging the Capisi. Ready. On shunt power to the weapon range and damage systems to hold them off. Orders! Point set! Moving to guard craft. Confirmed. So another thing, if I get started beforehand, uh, like I did here, I will normally just wait until the enemy force appears and then I'll boost these guys away. Just... Um, Make sure they get out of there. Stand by for extraction. Rachel, more Galcian are bound to show up. You need to hurry. Copy that. Fire. Rachel's team is still inside the derelict. Her position must be defended. Release both. Armor copies.
sensor efficiency has been greatly increased, and interference from the storm has been filtered out. Excellent. Contact range increased. With our sensors now operational, we've detected a hostile cruiser supporting the enemy offensive. Engage and destroy the enemy cruiser. Maintain position. Resources are scattered throughout the area. To collect them efficiently, we need support cruisers deployed alongside our salvagers. Looks like this time we went kind of fast because below 10 minutes, so... That's it for Cape Wrath. So the next mission, Kalash Site, that's where things get interesting. Um, so stay tuned for that episode. Uh, like, likewise, uh, leave any sort of comments or questions below in the comment section. Um, I'll be happy to address any sort of concerns or questions we have down there. And I think that's it for Cape Wrath. Thank you all for watching. Stay tuned for the next video, which will go over Kalash Site. Take care, everybody. personal